after. You're going to the field with us. You have to wear a collar. See, I'm wearing one. And a leash, too. Now that leash is hanging right up here. Oh, here it is. Drum. Good. I hope Seth is ready. We're getting a late start as it is. He's been having a lot of trouble with that truck of his. I told him last week he ought to get it overhauled. Well, I'm glad we can take him. Hi, Sam. Hello, Seth. I was just fixing up some new roosts. So those prize leghorns you're planning to buy? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some beauty. Well, where's Uncle Petrie? Oh, he left for the fair at the crack of dawn to help Irv Simmons with his prize hogs. How's Bertha? Oh, fine. She's in the kitchen. Just made a batch of cookies for us to take along. <laughs> well, hi, Lassie. You going to the fair, too? Too bad she won't be able to go inside. But she's going to wear her collar and leave. Well, didn't you hear about the new law? No dogs allowed on the fairgrounds, on account of some trouble they had the last time. Too many dogs or something. You'll have a nice ride anyway. And you can wait in the car for us. And you won't have to wear your collar and leash after all. <laughs> I'll tell Bertha that you're here. Bertha, the Martins are here. Oh, just in time. I was getting some cookies ready for them. Uh, they've got Lassie along. Well, didn't they know that dogs are not allowed on the fairgrounds? I guess not. I just told them. Mom, can I go in and see Mrs. Collins Manez... Moon... Manez... Do you know what I mean? Yes, menagerie. Yeah, that's right. Manez... <laughs> she showed it to me once. Her sister owns a pet shop. And she sends Mrs. Collins all the sick ones. Because she's so good at taking care of them. Yes, I know. I think it's a good idea if we all go in to see Bertha. How would it be if Lassie stayed here with you? Then she wouldn't have to be cooped up in the car all afternoon. Oh, I'd like to, Seth. But keeping a dog around all those pets, even a dog as nice as Lassie, might scare them to death. Well, you get that tied up and ready to go. I'll pick some fruit to take along. Okay. your man. He went to get some fruit, and I baked some cookies for you to take along. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Mrs. Collins? Oh, yes, what? Is that a new pet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> now, isn't he a darling? Pretty chipper, or your mama's baby, pretty chipper. Ah! A real monkey. No, he's a baby chip, and he was a sick one, too. Right at death's door, he was. But he's getting over that nasty old pneumonia, aren't you, chippy baby? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. <laughs> she fusses more over this one than she does over me. Now you hush, Seth Collins. I won't have you hurting Chipper's feelings. <laughs> it's all right. Lassie wouldn't do anything to him. Oh, of course she wouldn't. Nor do any of your other pets either. I think they'd get along just fine. Well, maybe they'd do with that. See, I have an idea. Lassie wouldn't have any fun being locked up in a hot car all day. Now, why don't you leave her here with me? Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Bertha. Well, how about it, Timmy? Lassie will have lots of company. How about it, Lassie? <laughs> Gracious, what did she say? Yes, yeah, I think. <laughs> and it's all right, Bertha? Oh, of course. Once he gets those fancy roosters to fuss over, he won't be so quick to tease me about Chipper. At least a chicken's good for something. <laughs> Sit how you talk. Come on, we've got a long drive ahead of us. You be a good dog. And well see Mrs. Collins tells you. Okay? <laughs> okay. He talks pretty well. Ah, pretty chipper, or your mama's baby, pretty chipper. Ah. Pretty well. Too well. <laughs> Bye-bye, Bertha. Thanks very Bye. much. Bye. Ah. Bye. Bye. Ah. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, now, baby chipper, you better get back in your cage and take a nice little nap. Because we don't want you to get sick again, huh? Pretty bye, or your pretty baby, pretty bye. Huh? Or your pretty baby. Pretty bye. Pretty bye. <laughs> That's right, go to baby bye. <laughs> or your pretty baby. Be quiet, Chatterbox. You want to see, too? Well, those are fan tales. <laughs> are they pretty? <laughs> and these are parakeets. And these furry things are hamsters. <laughs> Don't you think they're cute? <laughs> and this is Billy. Billy, how about a little song for Lassie? <laughs> Come on. And over here, well, this is a minor bird. He comes from India. How about a whistle, Pete? Huh? Can you talk? Can you talk? Now, Chipper, don't tell me that you're getting jealous of Lassie. You're still Mommy's baby, don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Time for your oatmeal. Maybe that's why you're fussing. Uh, Lassie. That's right. Lie down. Be a good dog. Here. I'll get it right away. Just a minute. Get to the game. Get to the game. Ah! Ah! Hurry back, Jimmy. 
Tipper. Hurry back, Tipper. Chipper, 
chipper. <laughs> Ah! 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 
for you, Chipper, that Lassie didn't... Oh, that Lassie didn't leave you here, you know that? You're a good dog, Lassie. Now, you see, Lassie, Chipper's really trying to be friends. <laughs> things out so as they can stretch their legs. That's my wife for you. Next thing you know, she'll be talking to them. <laughs> and you, you little limp. Oh, you're all ready to go back to the store. I think she's telling us she's ready to go home. How was our girl? Oh, an angel. A positive angel. Didn't I tell her she'd be good? I think Lassie had just as nice a time right here. Oh, I'm sure she did. We had a lot of things to keep us busy, didn't we, Lassie? Thank you, Bertha. Do come see us soon, will you? Well, I'll try. Bye. Thanks for the ride, Paul. Bye-bye, Lassie. Good doggy. Bye-bye, Lassie. Good dog. Your dog's in good. You're the best dog that anybody ever had. <laughs> Woo! 